more than 230 chapters around the world, and on Monday, representatives from 20 of those chapters went head-to-head -head at the Petro Bowl. I'm Sarah Salmon for SPE TV, and for nine hours, teams duked it out in this tournament-style contest to test their knowledge on the ENP industry and SPE. So who came out on top? I was there when it came down to the wire. Three are correct for 15 points. Congratulations, you guys. So I know it's been a long day of questioning, and we're going to keep the questions coming right here on SPE TV. So how long has your team been prepping for this event? Nine months. Yeah. Nine months. Last yeah. December. Since what, last December? Last December, yeah. Okay, now that you've won, what does this mean for your school's program? I just think it was a great opportunity to represent the University of Texas and uh, showcase you know, how, how great of students we have there. And we got some good teachers taught us yeah. all this. Yeah. <laughs> and as students, why is it so important to be here at SPE? Well, I mean, uh, I, w I would say that it's important to be here just to get industry experience in addition to our academic studies, as well as the networking and uh, just see what's new within the industry. Okay, well, it's been an exciting day right here at the Petro Bowl. I'm Sarah Salmon reporting for SPE TV.